Well, hello. Today I'm going to walk you through an installation that I just completed using the Ubiquiti Nano Station Loco M5s. The objective was to get the internet from the house, which is a great 40 meg down connection, over to the barn. That way they don't have to have two internet accounts. Oh sure, the internet company would love to come out and run you a line to the barn and make you pay another fee per month. But why do that when you've already got a 40 meg down connection in the house? The problem is, the challenge is how to get the internet over to the barn on one account. There's several options you could do here. You could run a Cat 5 or Cat 6 wire from the house to the barn. The problem with that is you'd have to bury it and as you can see, they've already got a completed yard with a driveway. You'd have to do driveway boring. Um, that would not be an efficient, cost-effective solution. The next solution is to go get a really high-powered router like an ASUS or a Ubiquiti router, put it in the window right here, and have it shoot across. The problem is, as you get closer to the barn, your signal quality diminishes, and by the time you get inside the barn, you virtually have no signal. So that was not a good option. So the option I came up with was using the Ubiquiti Nano Station 5s to use them as a, um, a highway, if you will, uh, to shoot the data path from the house to the barn and have virtually no signal loss. Let's go take a look at it. This is the transmitting unit. Very simple. I just drove a, um, one of my satellite poles that I use for installing DirecTV and did some zip ties, zip tied it to the uh, pole, and I aimed it at the barn. And then using category six cable, I went down and went into the house. And we will be sealing that with some uh, white caulk right there so that uh, it'll be nice and uh, professional. So this end of the cable over that way is plugged into their router. It sends the internet the data path, if you will, into the transmitting unit. And it shoots it straight across to the barn to the receiving unit. Let's go take a look at that unit now. And there is the receiving unit that receives the signal from the house. We'll go on up here and take a look at it. Looks just like the sending unit. Took a Cat 6 right out of the bottom. Went around. Went up into the barn. And let's go inside and look at where it comes in. Now we're inside the office in the barn. And that Category 6 cable, as you see, I fished it down that wall so that it's inside the wall. That way there's no ugly wires coming down the wall. It comes out that white uh, plate. And then I, I, I chose to run it into an ASUS router. And I turned DHCP off in the router. So it's no longer acting as a router, it's acting as an access point. You don't want to have two routers on the same network. That would mess things up unless they're on different addresses. So, um, so this router is now providing this access point, if you will, is now providing Wi-Fi everywhere in the barn. Let's take a look and see what kind of signal strength we're getting here in the uh, barn. I use speedtest.net by Ookla. I think the majority of the uh, world does that. So bear in mind that this is grabbing the internet from the house, which is, uh, you know, 150, 200 feet away. And it's uh, transmitting it through the air. In the house, I am getting 40 meg down and 3 to 4 meg up. Okay? So as you can see, we have virtually no signal loss by the time it gets to the barn. We did try putting a router in the window in the house and shooting it over to the barn, but in the house we were getting 40, here in the barn we were getting two or three. So these devices are just the practical way to go. As again, they are subscribing to 4 meg up, as you can see they're getting it, uh, with a ping of only 13. And this is on the ETC cable uh, internet system. So there's your results here in the barn, same results in the house, virtually no signal loss. Now I'm back outside. And again, if we had run a Category 6 or 5 cable underground to the house, sure, that's a great way to do it. But look where we would have to run it. You know, 
through the gardens underneath a paved concrete driveway would not be an efficient cost-effective solution. It would cost a lot more than these units would. Now let's go take a look at the sending unit for a moment. On the back of the unit, and I'll try to get this, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera or not, but it's got light bars and light statuses. I don't know if you can see that well or not. But those lights give you a status on, on the, the, the system working, the signal strength uh, between the two units. And as you can see, we're shooting. You just kind of have to move it and align it up. And everything is uh, configured through a web browser. So when you set it up, you just set two static IPs. And that way, uh, you don't have to worry about them changing ever. And the system works really well. Now, something I would like to point out is this system that I put in has the capacity to go 5, 10, or even 15 miles. We're only going less than 200 feet. Less than 200 feet from the house to the barn. But this system will actually transmit the internet, say, to the top of that uh, mountain right there. That would be a perfect line of sight from here. If there was a uh, house right up there, we could actually drive up there, put a receiving unit, twist this unit to point that way, we could actually uh, beam the internet, you like that word beam, 5, 10, even up to 15 miles using this system. Now they have other systems that will go 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 miles, but for residential and uh, small business purposes, this system, which is very cost effective, will go up to 15 miles. So if you're needing a way to get internet to remote structures on your property or from you know up to 15 miles, give me a call. Let's talk about it. I think you'll like this system. It's a lot more cost effective than digging ditches and opening up a second account. Uh, my name is Andrew Bird. I'm with Satellite Activations. We do direct TV, internet, and we do uh, Wi-Fi solutions. Located in North Georgia, serving the entire southeastern United States. Give me a call at 678-928-9100. I offer a one-stop solution. Just give me a call. We'll actually install it, provide the parts, provide the labor, and provide a one-year warranty on everything that we do for a lot less than if you were trying to bury cable or, or even sign up for a second account. Remember, when you get a second account, you're paying $80, $90, $100 per month. Over the course of one year, you've spent $1,200 almost on that second account. With Ubiquity, you're going to spend less than that for a one-time setup. So give me a call. Let me help you with your internet problems, solutions, and your challenges. I'm up for it.